What's up guys, this is West Wilson, safety number 29. This year I'm gonna be giving you a behind the scenes tour of what it's like to travel with the Bobcats. This is Cats Gone West. If you had to give any travel tip to a new freshman, what, what, what tip would you give them? Um, pack extra snacks. Sour Patch. Sour Patch? Yeah. Sweet. Twix. But the ghost shape because it's October. Mm -hmm. Wow, we got a lot going on in here. Yeah, Snickers. Snickers, pumpkin shaped. On the plane, are you guys are you guys sleepers? Are you music listeners? You watch shows? What do you like to do? I'm more of a Netflix guy, man. Netflix guy? Go ahead and download my, my TV show. What shows we got? Right now, I'm watching The Blacklist. Um, I'm a big uh, books on tape guy. Books on tape. Yeah, and I just I wouldn't have guessed that for you, Matt. I know it's it's not very many people know that. What are some of your favorites? I got the uh, American Sniper on there, and uh, Chase. How about you? Uh, I downloaded Kung Fu Panda 1 and Kung Fu Panda 3. You, did, you skipped 2? You didn't want to? It wasn't on Netflix. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. So all you're bringing is your, your study guide and Clash of Clans. That's all that's coming with us to North Dakota. And a lot of effort and heart. Effort and heart. Zach Wright. All right, Bobcats, we will, uh, we'll see you guys in Grand Forks. All right, gang, so we're back in Grand Forks. On Friday nights, we like to tour, you know, the stadium, the, the, the place we're going to be playing at uh, tomorrow. So we're going to take a look around and, uh, you know, get accustomed to, uh, what's this arena called? Alaris. To the Alaris Center. Jabari, do you like playing inside or outside better? Uh, inside as in like a dome? Yeah, like a Oh, dome. definitely inside. I, I hate being cold and I don't like being too hot, and this is perfect. This is, is, you don't like being cold, is that why you came to Montana? Just asked, what, what did you just ask me, actually? Are we in Canada? Not, not quite, but I think we're close. All right, Bobcat fans, uh, before we leave, we're gonna, we just want to let you guys know that your quarterback is in bed by, by 9. It's 8.54. Curfew's probably what? What time's curfew? 11 o'clock. It's 11. You're in bed by 9. Yep. You're champ. Uh, you got anything to say to the Bobcats before they leave? Bobcat Nation. Bobcat Nation, you know, looking to go one now big side conference. I'll make sure that happens tomorrow. Go Cats. Go Cats, guys. Thank you. What's up, Bobcat fans? We're back, headed to Eastern Washington this week. And today's Friday the 13th. We'll see how everyone's feeling. Blue, Friday the 13th, are you superstitious? No. Not at all? No. Kind of nervous. That's why I got these bad boys. Are cashews good luck? Yeah, I want one. And they're warm and everything. Try that. Are, they... yeah, here you are these Bozeman Yellowstone Airport yeah, I cashews? I, I don't mess around. Have you ever flown on Friday the 13th before? I have never. You expect a little turbulence or? I expect lots of turbulence. Lots. Yeah. Buckle up. All right, Bobcat fans, we're here at Roos Field, uh, taking it in, uh, and that's a lot to take in today, as you can see. They call it the Inferno. It's pretty average, but we'll be fine. Mitch, if uh, if Bobcat Stadium could could incorporate a could incorporate a blue field, would you, would you be all for it or not? I think we should go gold. How do you like the red turf? Uh, it doesn't bother me. It's pretty gross, though. Yeah. Uh, it's honestly worse than my junior college field. Worse than your JC. Yeah. Josh, um, a lot of the fans are wondering, what do we use in here? It's all natural. You don't even shampoo? No. Do you condition? Nah, I'm just kidding, I do. What do you use? Whatever's in the locker room, pretty much. So basic, like, mass order, cheap, dry shampoo that's probably unhealthy for oh, your hair? Most definitely. All right, guys, we're here at snack time. It's about 8.30. This is what we do every, uh, every Friday night so we don't go to bed with the tank on E. Sully, what do we got going on? So here we got some milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate milk. Cookies for the linemen, the fat kids. <laughs> is that hummus? Should I use? That is hummus, confirmed. Um, rolls. I, Sully, these are bagels. <laughs> bagels. That's, what I meant. That's what I meant with bagels. With some jelly and peanut butter. And, oh. and then why don't I just do it again? I think we got... That's cream cheese, yeah? Here we go. Cream cheese. All right, guys, we're back. We're headed to northern Colorado this week. We're here with Ben. 
Ben, what's your favorite part of traveling with the Bobcats? Probably all the food, for sure. What's been your favorite meal? Um, honestly, I haven't had Cadoba in a long time, and I've heard the good news that I think we're getting Cadoba today, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, probably these Alamans. Two weeks in a row. That no, was actually my first time. First time getting them. They're warm. I tried them last week. You want to try one? You want another one? It's good. Yeah. Uh, I I think uh, you know the kind of friendships that you make with anybody, and then uh, then the almonds. <laughs> Um, and you had something that you want to show the viewers at home? Yeah, you know, after I eat my uh, nutty Bavarian fresh roasted almonds, I like to wash them down with my water bottle. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, know the kid. <laughs> All right, we're here with Jeff Choate, some guy we found today in the airport. Coach, you've been coaching a long time. Is traveling pretty much the same with every team, or does every team do it a little different? You know, the main thing that's different here is that uh, we never really had anything like Bobcats go west anywhere ever been. I mean, I think uh, the fact that you lower your voice octave so so <laughs> low is really, I mean, it's amazing. It's it's uh, it's kind of impressive. It's a, it's a unique talent that you have. Do you need the brush? Yeah, I got the brush. Raylan's brushing his hair real quick, guys, yeah, so he looks good. It's pretty, the lighting's, I don't think, even good enough. Me to give me real, get my, you know, my beard with the, with the comb. With the comb? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Chad, first year traveling with the Bobcats. What's your favorite part of traveling with Montana State University so far? I'd have to say dinner. What about breakfast? Uh, the breakfast, I love bacon. Like last week I got like nine pieces of bacon at breakfast. That is so good. Like I just love it. You trying to go for 10 this week? Yeah, for sure. Got to get some gains. Weighing 160 now, by the way. So yeah, I'm going up. My favorite part has to be uh, the nicely made beds. Is there a chance that maybe all hotels have nicely made beds or is it just the ones we go to? Uh, just the ones we go to, I think. That's all the ones I've been to. I don't know if they're all like that, but... They're usually I hear some hotels, they just they don't change them. you got to change them yourself, so... Yeah. That's like a special part about how we travel. Uh, Conkle, what are you dreaming about today, bud? <laughs> he sniffed into the camera. We're at the Grand Tree Inn in Greeley, Colorado. It's about bedtime. Braylon, you doing anything before you go to bed? I'm going to take a shower. Curdy? Shower and brush my teeth. After that cookie? That course is so good. We got showers and cookies. Greeley, Colorado. We'll see you guys later. Guys, we're back in northern Arizona this week. Kind of could call it Cats Gone South. It's up to you. <clears throat> we're here with Brandon. Brandon, the last person you'd ever want to have as a roommate on the team, and why? Hmm. Tui. Tui. Why Tui? I love him to death, but both of us, we snore pretty loud, so it, he'd wake me up or I'd wake him up. I'd start fighting probably in the, in the hotel room. Uh, I'd probably sleep somewhere else. Yeah, fair enough. The last person on the team that you'd want is your roommate, and why? I will say any specialist. <laughs> they're just a different different breed, you know, nothing against them. It's just, just they're just different, you know. They're their own, they're their own team, kind of, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Man. I'll say Tui. Why Tui? A lot of things. Can you give us one? Just a little too friendly. Tui's a little too friendly? <laughs> yeah, too friendly. You don't, you don't want to be in the same room with Tui? No, not really. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. I, can, I understand that. Good answer. Lewis. Lewis? <laughs> why, why Lewis? Doesn't take anything seriously. And you need a roommate who's serious. Who's dialed in? Mm, Tui, for sure. Tui's dialed in. Wow, that's surprising. We just had someone tell us that he was too friendly of a roommate. Not like Lewis. Lock it in next time, Lou. Who is the one player on the team that you wouldn't want as a roommate and why? <laughs> uh, definitely Jake Sessions. Um, probably just because of filth. Because he's filthy? Yes. Not a, not a subtle word at all. You, because you always ask me questions. With the mic in your face and you don't like that? Exactly. Fair enough. Oh, definitely Carl Tucker. I already live with him, so 
He's too much. Yeah. What, what are his worst qualities? You just gotta look at him every every day you wake up. And it's and it it starts your day off poorly. Yeah, I just uh, just imagine 16 workouts. You, you gotta walk over to the field house, and the first thing you see is Carl Tucker. I, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, West Wilson. That's actually number two. <laughs> I, just, I just don't think he's a real nice guy. He's he's mean to most of the people he meets. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, we're here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I believe it's the walk-up Sky Dome. We are at 7,000 feet above sea level. It's the second highest stadium in Division One football. We're here getting it in, getting the lungs okay. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Elu, this is this a new thing the linemen are doing? We're going shirts off for walkthrough? Uh, we kind of started it in uh, Colorado. Okay. Um, yeah, we just did it because I knew the skilled players wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So we try to find a way to separate ourselves as I a like line. I, I yeah. like that. As far as rankings go for high stadiums in Division One football, where do you think this ranks right here? Do you know this? I do, actually. I was just informed. Um, it's four. Second. Oh wow! Wyoming's uh, Wyoming's first. Can you feel it in the lungs at all? You're doing okay. No, I feel good. Feels good in here. Hydrated. Yep. 